Um, 99, 2000 was also a big year for you. You averaged uh, 51 uh, for the season, which was uh, huge. We won the championship going into the uh, start of the millennium. Uh, what's your memories of that year in particular? I was, see the, um, the previous championship uh, was, uh, I mean, if you play 10 times, you might win twice chasing 280. But uh, what I really enjoyed in 1999-2000, it was a great team effort. Like I said, after Harvey's year, uh, when uh, Preston had to do the rebuilding, and uh, by 95-96, what I really enjoyed, we had so many players that respected the other, the other person's responsibility, and uh, we have uh, molded a unit uh, to win from any position. Mm. And even uh, no matter how uh, how much we were struggling during the game, we someone will put their hand up and um, you know get us out of the trouble and uh, get us into a position to give us a chance. By 99, 2000, we had a fantastic unit. We had a great team. I think from 94 onwards, 90, uh, 93, my initial year, we had all those great names. And from 95 onwards, we had some players who were always waiting to make a contribution because the opportunities were few and far in between. Um, batting at the top of the order, or everyone had different uh, responsibilities. Dale Carpenter was immaculate with his line and length uh, in the top of the piece uh, with his bowling. Tim Molloy did a pretty similar um, um, role in that uh, middle part of the 90s. And, um, then uh, Aaron Via has come to the club to bowl off spin after Ranga. So he was playing a second fiddle. But there were there were players who were looking to make a contribution and they were dying to get an opportunity. And uh, that 99, 2000, by that time, Preston was such a great team. They were a great list of players. Even in the second 11, there were so many who could have played in the first. And uh, that was one of the most uh, enjoyable wins, uh, not only the grand final uh, or the championship final. Um, uh, there were so many times during the year um, that uh, we were we were not even close of winning uh, against some of the sides. And but uh, Kevin Lowe, uh, what a fantastic all rounder he was, and uh, you know, the bowling, and uh, obviously he became a legend at the club by uh, playing for so long and uh, contributing so much. And uh, he was carrying the flag for a very long time, even after some of the players left. But, uh, you know, there was uh, there were so many players I can uh, recall names that uh, even for a smallest opportunity, even if you give them two, three overs, uh, they'll make sure that the momentum uh, is carried on. And uh, even if you get uh, you batted number eight, number nine, where they will make sure that there was, a, uh, the, you know, there, there is a contribution coming from them all the time, and uh, it was one of the best teams I have played in uh, in anywhere, because simply because of the uh, uh, collectively the effort put up by the team, and uh, I actually enjoyed that championship final uh, more than the one that I got runs and. Uh, even uh, in the championship final, you know, we only got 226 again on a very good track uh, at Caulfield, and uh, we had to uh, uh, bowl well um, to win it. It's, it was not going to come easy, and everyone contributed immensely to that uh, uh, victory. And I can remember the uh, catch that Kevin Low took at long on of uh, Ranger, I think. Uh, to put the icing on the cake and uh, yeah, it was, it, like I mentioned, probably the greatest team efforts that I've been involved with at Preston. Wow, amazing. Um, you obviously had a very good relationship with uh, Scotty Harvey, who stood, be, stood behind the wickets. Uh, a little bit about Scotty. <laughs> well, look, uh, you know, my first few years, uh, the, that Harvey family, I must actually uh, mention a few words about their parents as well, uh, you know, being there every Saturday and uh, doing the scoring and doing whatnot. 
uh, for us to uh, make it easier on the field. Steve had the difficult task of um, leading the team uh, when we were in a rebuilding uh, stage. And Scotty was, you know, it was so great. Even if you were not bowling well, uh, he made sure that the batsman is on the guard all the time. And uh, he was never short of a word. And uh, we used to have a great relationship, even between overs, even between the um, yeah, during the breaks. And uh, he was a great character. And, uh, you know, um, I wore leg spin. And uh, there were a few variations under in my armor. And uh, Scotty was one of the very few to um, read it off my hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, he basically pretty much, uh, like a good wicketkeeper do, uh, um, he was reading it uh, pretty early before the batsman. Yeah, what's going to come out of my hand? And uh, he pretty much knew exactly what I was trying to do. And uh, and Steve, you know, not many guys will uh, was very were very forward to go under the bat. Uh, to uh, I mean, I like to have a few fielders under the bat when I was bowling, and uh, you know, not many because there were no protection gear at the time in the early 90s. And mm. Steve would go there and, uh, you know, two Harveys get together. They, they were never short of a word. And the batsman had the nightmare of uh, having to uh, listen to those two guys um, when facing me and Ranga. And um, look, Scotty and Steve, uh, it was a great privilege to play, again, uh, play with them. And uh, I'll tell you this way. Uh, I put it this way. I, I wouldn't want to play against them. Now, after almost 10 years, uh, you, you decided to uh, leave Preston. Um, where did you go to after that? Well, I returned to Sri Lanka and um, I was 30 at the time and uh, I still had the energy uh, to play cricket. I ended up playing one year, four games, I think, in the first class, for, for, for BRC first class, but... Uh, then um, my mind basically focused on coaching, which I wanted to do for a very long time. And uh, not only that, I ended up playing some Indo cricket, so representing Sri Lanka in Indo cricket, and uh, went to a few World Cups uh, to England and South Africa. And uh, even the last uh, Indo cricket World Cup uh, was held in South Africa, the Masters World Cup. I when they with the Sri Lankan team. And uh, so um, I really got involved in coaching. And um, when I got the offer to um, coach Royal College, my old school, and uh, took the opportunity with both hands and uh, was um, lucky to get the opportunity, really. And uh, I was there for nearly seven years. Then I um, had the privilege of... Um, winning the All Island uh, Best School Prize, uh, coaching some of... I was lucky that there was a, such a good system at, in the school at the time. There were a lot of uh, great cricket brains uh, that were involved mm -hmm. with Royal College, uh, including, uh, as you would know, probably the best match referee in the world, Ranjan Madugal, uh, who was in the committee at the time. and uh, So learned a lot uh, working with those guys. and. Uh, uh, was able to go through a very successful period for all college uh, and uh, was lucky to coach some of those players uh, who rep represented Sri Lanka later on and um, yeah, still enjoying watching them play. Yes. Uh, when did you stop playing? Yeah, like I said, after I left Preston and came to Sri Lanka, I, uh, it was one year that I really gave it a go and uh, but then uh, yeah I pulled up the stumps after that and uh, I got involved with coaching and um, yeah that was it. We would be remiss if we didn't talk about your uh, your career as a freelance commentator in cricket uh, in Sri Lanka. You're obviously uh, now a big star on the big screen. Well um, you know, that was also an opportunity that came my way and, um, you know, I happened to fit into that one. And uh, I used to commentate in that school's game, the big game that Royal College was in Thomas uh, as I came to Sri Lanka. And uh, then the opportunity to um, the opportunity came towards my way 
to get involved with the domestic cricket um, when some of these um, um, companies took over telecast in the domestic cricket and uh, opportunity came and it was um, onwards and upwards from that point onwards and uh, yeah, I had the privilege to get involved in some of the international teams when they came to Sri Lanka. Uh, really enjoyed that series again in New Zealand, uh, interviewing Kane Williamson and Guptill and so uh, some of those names and uh, which you would really dream of uh, getting close to. And uh, um, yeah, still, uh, still only halfway through the journey. Obviously, opportunities will come uh, as uh, for the um, the situation of the world that we are facing these days. So. Um, it's um, um, not uh, a lot of cricket is happening everywhere in the world, but uh, hopefully it'll get better. And uh, yeah, I'll be more involved with commentary. But uh, I would like to um, combine both uh, because I like enjoy um, coach. I enjoy coaching, um, um, particularly the youngsters. Um, even now. Uh, I have uh, about 50 kids, which I um, take during the week, uh, maybe three to four times a week, uh, you know, every um, every week. But uh, yeah, you know, um, from the beginners, uh, from the age of eight to uh, till they leave school um, when they are 18. So 10 years of uh, junior cricket, um, I really enjoy coaching these youngsters and, uh, you know, um, it is a challenge, but uh, I, like, like I said, um, I enjoy because every time when they make the next step, um, it's like you uh, scoring a 50 or a 100 uh, when during your playing days. It's, uh, it's equivalent to um, that for me. And, um, yeah, I think uh, coaching and commentating will probably go hand in hand for me in the future. So you've managed to make a fantastic career out of uh, an unbelievable talent uh, that you, you're blessed with. Um, just going back to Preston, Dan and I, um, uh, what were some of the bad habits you taught at Preston? For me or individual, uh, collectively? Uh, for you. <laughs> As a young man coming from Sri Lanka, well, what were some of the bad things they taught you? <laughs> oh... I found everything was pretty good uh, to my liking, so I uh, I can't really single out bad habits. But uh, look, uh, the characters I met, uh, I must mention one character that re I really enjoyed seeing every Saturday or Tuesday or Thursday night uh, was um, Sean Day. Oh. Daisy uh, was had immense talent. Uh, as a cricketer, he, he also another guy who came and excelled in no time at Preston, uh, filling into that opening role, and uh, no need to uh, um, give any introductions about how he was off the field. I think a lot of players will probably mention uh, many things to you, but uh, bad habits maybe uh, every Tuesday night and Thursday nights uh, after training, uh, the activities that took place. Uh, you know, if you were a Monday to Friday worker, um, you felt some of it on the next day morning when you wake up to go to work. Uh, but uh, particularly, the, uh, you know, um, there was enough food on offer um, after training. Uh, there are a lot of uh, people who were contributing at the club. Gee, some of the names uh, I wish to, uh, Neil Hardy, who was uh, was major part of, uh, getting me in shape uh, as a physio and uh, in knackers uh, making all the food and then um, um, who was a family uh, who making tea in the afternoon and then the, uh, even afternoon uh, uh, the the food that we, when we came to the club and then uh, even some of the people who were working behind the bar and uh, you know they they were such enjoy they were they were all enjoyable times and. Uh, Sometimes on a Thursday night, you won't finish till midnight. Okay. Uh, darts was, uh, playing darts was uh, part of our roster. And, uh, you know, by the time you uh, finish two games of darts, uh, you probably have gone gone through a few. And, uh, yeah, well, 
those were good times and uh, maybe when you get up in the morning it felt bad but uh, now uh, the time that i spent at preston i think i probably won't spare a minute for anything else we're indeed uh, fortunate to have had you as part of our club and it's going to continue because you've officially joined the 1860 club international member so uh, we formally welcome you and uh, yeah just uh, just on one point um, lee um, i'll be failing in my duty if i don't mention this family as well uh, who were uh, who were behind my success at preston the norris family uh, richard norris uh, was like a father figure to me and uh, um, you know, he made sure that I was uh, on the ball uh, if I deviate at times. And even um, Andrew and Peter and uh, even Elena Norris uh, as a family, uh, if I don't mention them, um, I'll be failing in my duty, uh, to be honest. And, uh, and uh, certainly it was an honor being involved in such a successful club. Uh, like Preston, and uh, I was lucky enough to, to uh, carry the flag that we were given as, as I walked into the club for some more years. And I can see the change uh, taking place and uh, Mickey Hayes being the captain in the last couple of years. And uh, Hayes was one guy that I, I was coming up at the time when I was leaving. Mm -hmm. uh, he was, I think he was a teenager still. and. Uh, so obviously he would have learned a thing or two from some of those the senior players. So now he's been appointed the president uh, of the club. Um, uh, you know, great science. So, so the baton has been passed through to the next generation. And uh, I I don't wish because I think Preston didn't really rely on the on the luck. They made it happen because they had good brains uh, around them. And uh, I can see the change already. Yes, it's very exciting time for the club. Well, thank you very much, Gam and I, for your time today. Uh, we hope we haven't intruded too much into it, but uh, we'd love to talk to you again at some time and even better, one day, we hope that you, when this pandemic's over, you find your way back to Preston in person. It would be one hell of a reunion. Well, yeah, um, hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, um, I can make it to Preston uh, to one of these functions in the future. And um, uh, let's see um, if it takes place. That'll be that'll be in my bucket list for sure. And um, um, yeah, thank you for giving me the opportunity to recall some of the uh, memories at Preston. And certainly it's, a, it's been a pleasure. <laughs>